So that might suggest another room out with the one that we're standing in at the moment, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, just in there where yeah. the stones are. Yep. A more heavily used room, possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Big thick wall that's tumbled. Mm -hmm. So all those stones came out of there where, where he's working. Yeah. It's something like this is quite a substantial floor. It's great. It's just Absolutely amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. We were quite surprised to find it because Ian was digging here and there was a really deep deposit of kind of soil and gravel. Yeah. It just seemed to go down forever and it was very loose and mm -hmm. it didn't make sense of the floor and then he came down into this. this yeah. Which is very clearly a well laid floor. Well laid floor. Yeah. And a beautifully built bit of wall as well. Yeah, with it those is. upright stones and yep. the little pinning stones around yeah. it. Just lovely. You can see the paving's been fitted quite snugly up around the bedrock. Yeah, it has. And little pinning stones in between the big slabs, yeah. just very well built. So we're kind of looking at some sort of high status room here, some important room possibly? Well, I'm wondering, you know, it was you who first said, look that curvy end, it looks like an apse. Yeah. And um, I got my north totally wrong here. North is actually pretty much out toward that little tiny yeah, uh -huh. island on its own. Yep. So this is actually more or less east-west. East, yeah. With this, this is the east end, and yeah. you know, obviously they've made a bit of a, a thing of this end of it. Yeah, with this, they have. This yeah. big triangular stone. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we could have a little chapel here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it could well be. Yeah, with the curve, the position, the the quality flooring. Yes. A bit of clay there up against those stones. They've packed clay in around the, the base of the stones to oh, yeah. to form a bit of floor. Yeah. Um, we found a, a firecrack stones again in here in mm -hmm. the gravel and, and stuff that Ian's taken away. Yeah. Um, and a couple of little stone tools that, that were used as smoothers. Yes. Um, yeah. And also quite a few pieces of sort of pigment, kind of yellow and red, soft, you know, kind of ochre stuff oh, yeah. that could have been used as pigment. So yeah. we've, we've saved all that to have, have it looked at. Yeah. Then, like so many of these buildings, could be later used for something else. Yeah. Um, so they fell out of use as, as a religious That's building. That's true. If it was a religious building, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's quite exciting. Yeah. So we're just going to have a look at the far end there. We'll yeah. work a little slot through there, see what's happening. Yep. And that's about all we'll have time for. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. But what's interesting is these stones keep going down and there's voids underneath these slabs. Right. And quite a loose deposit. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe that's just been thrown in there to level it up for the flags. Yeah. But certainly, there's something else going on, going on underneath the, yeah. the paving. Yeah, that's quite exciting. That's. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Who'd have thought? You just see the tops of the yeah. stones coming around. Yeah. And thought, well, maybe it's a mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. And if it does, if it is a, a chapel or something, it's there's that funny upright stone there. Yeah. The bedrock here could uh -huh. could have been used in some way inside it. Yeah. You know, there's, there's still a big chunk of it to look at. Yeah, there's still a big bit to, at. yeah. Because that's stone there as well, isn't it? Or yeah, is it is. It might, oh, it might just be small stone, mm. but it's hard to see. And Ian pointed out there's, it lo looks like maybe a wall face just in there. You see where? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just that little erosion scar is. Yeah maybe running back behind this yes. wall that we can see. So we could have lots of different phases in here. Yeah, indeed. Oh yeah, a lot more work to be done here. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> but no chalice, no crucifix. No, no. <laughs> not yet, unless it's under the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Hidden in a hurry beneath a stone, yeah. <laughs> We are wondering about pulling up some of the stones to check, but I don't want to disturb it, you know, no. for the sake of it, so I'm not sure what we'll do. I might just leave it for the moment. I do like the way that wall's constructed at the back as well. That's, there's a lot of care going on about that. I really thought. Does, yeah. Yeah. So it's obviously seen as important to get that curve coming right around. Yeah, you're right, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, well, just we can certainly say there was there were people living and cooking on the stack, and there was this other little building which had a seems to have a, had have had a very different use of the paved floor. Um, 
so from a, a strictly technical point of view, that's all you can say. <laughs> <laughs> However, um, <laughs> looking at its location, at all the effort that went into living there, and it was, you know, it wasn't just a little temporary tent or something. It was pretty substantial buildings that the people were building, the constructing there. Um, so I'm quite confident that it could be a really Christian monastic settlement. I really can't say for sure, but if we were to get a date, that would definitely help pin it down in time. And I think once you once you have a sort of starting point, then you can work either back or forward from that. So it will be useful when we come back to survey the township. Can be start to make sense of all the stuff on the ground, and there's a hell of a lot of stuff to. Mm -hmm. to, to record and to make sense of, which we'll, mm -hmm. we'll get there. But it's, <laughs> it's a lot, but it, it'll, you know, we'll, we can say, well, people were here from this point in time, mm -hmm. and we can say, uh, we can trace that through time, or maybe there was, maybe there was a interlude where nobody lived mm -hmm. along that coast. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, looking at the topography and the fertility of this area, it mm -hmm. seems quite likely that there were always people. Mm -hmm. People there for a very, very long time. Because there's also the, those the, right, constant factors of fallen monolith site, yeah. you know, which is obviously yeah. very ancient. Mm -hmm. and, and so yeah, there's obviously been human interaction there for at least a couple of thousand years, if not longer. Yeah, mm -hmm. and all the stuff, you know, and certainly. Yeah.